Hey there, I'm Katie, and this is the How to Be a Minimalist YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast. Like the YouTube channel, you can find tips and inspiration on simple living as well as minimalism. I'll link the details to my podcast down in the description box below. Today, I want to talk to you about positive versus negative value. Now, I first talked about this in my book, How to Be a Minimalist with Kids, Finding Your Kind of Minimalism. I published that book several years ago now, and I've found it to be more and more true all the time that every object has both positive as well as negative value. Things that we love and use all the time tend to have a lot of positive value and very little negative value, but things that we don't use very often often have negative value and very little positive value. It's sort of like each item has 100% of value and some of the percentage is positive and some of the percentage is negative. I haven't really found any neutral percentage as I've thought about this, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But for now, I like to think about things in terms of percentages and whether they have more positive or negative value. When I was a kid, I really felt strongly about items. I didn't really understand why, but as I grew to be an adult, I really felt that certain things made me feel really good and certain things made me feel really yucky when I looked at them. As I got older, I realized that this kind of energy is positive and negative value, and that's kind of what I've called it. When I first began decluttering our home, I found a lot of negative value in items in my closet. Things such as someday clothes, as well as a particular shirt that I just had gotten a really nasty comment when I was wearing it. Yeah, those have a lot of negative value for me. And it wasn't until I had really thought about and written about and explored and journaled about positive versus negative value that I realized that I was keeping negativity in my closet. Every time I opened my closet, I would feel it. I would feel that negative value coming from that one area of my closet that was full of the things that I didn't wear. The things that were close to the front were all beautiful things. They were things that made me feel cute and looked good on me and all of that sort of thing. The stuff that was tucked way in the back or the bag that was way up high, I just didn't even want to go to those areas. I didn't want to look at them. I didn't want to think about them because they were all either things that I could not fit into or things that had some sort of negative memory attached to them. In the major decluttering that happened before we moved into our RV, I got rid of so much stuff and I got rid of it based on whether it had enough positive value to earn a space in the RV. If I have to take care of something, I definitely want it to be worthy of being there because it is my time and our resources that are going to keep it there. So with all of the different things that can make their way into your home, you should make sure that they've earned their place. Sometimes it's hard to identify whether something has enough positive value to stay. Things like beauty, functionality, usefulness, as well as the whole are they space efficient thing are all positive values. The negative values could be that maybe something is super efficient and you use it all the time, but it takes up a lot of space. Now, that kind of negative value is usually worth it to have, especially for an item that you use all the time. My Vitamix takes up quite a bit of space, but Honestly, I use it at least once a day. It's totally worth the space. So that little negative value of maybe 10%, just it doesn't even hardly matter because the 90% positive value of my Vitamix is that I use it every day. It helps me to eat healthfully and live healthfully and it's just awesome. It works really well. When it comes to negative value, some of the things that can create negative value are that it's maybe an item that you love to use, but it's not to your taste style wise, or maybe it really is something that you need, but it doesn't function the way you need it to. It can also be an ill use of space, like take up way more space than it needs to. The kind of negative value that I often look for is whether something has just a negative memory attached to it or whether it just has bad vibes about it. Maybe someone that I have kind of let go of in my life gave me an item and I don't really want to have it around anymore because it, instead of me thinking about the good things about that person, I think about the bad things. Now, it can go the opposite way. You might want to keep something because it helps you to remember the good things about someone that you've kind of let go of in your life. But for me, I tend to think of the negative things. Instead of allowing myself to think about that person, 
as the person that I am now. And I'm hoping that with each year I'm a little bit wiser and so I'm able to think about different people or different situations with a little bit more wisdom and thoughtfulness and forgiveness and it's just easier to go about things that way <laughs> instead of thinking about them in the situation that I was in as the person that I was. This is just how my brain works and so maybe you feel the same way too. Maybe you totally don't. That's all okay. Sometimes it's really hard to decide whether we're going to get rid of something or to keep something. As soon as I really recognized positive versus negative value and noticed that some of the items I was keeping were at the like 100% negative value range or like 95% negative value range, I asked myself, why am I even keeping these? And at that point, I was so ready to just let go of those items so that I wouldn't have to think about them anymore or have that negativity in my life. I think a lot of people are triggered by those visual things that make us think of those negative experiences that we've had in our life. When we're ready to let go, it's, I think, important to let go of some of those things so that we can move on and create new experiences that are positive. That way our lives can be a little bit more uplifting and fulfilling and we can let go and move forward. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will know when one of my new videos comes out. Thanks so much and remember it's all about the experiences, not the stuff.